What is up YouTube? Welcome to the second video of my Model S walkthrough. In this video, I'm going to show you every option on the top of the screen right here. If you missed my previous video where I go through the main menu of the car, including all these options right here, go ahead and check it out in my channel. But in this video, I'm going to show you only the options on top right here. Starting with the button to lock and unlock the car right here. Right now it's locked. The lightning bolt icon right here is to open up the charging screen. In here you have the option to open the charging port to set the limit of how much you want to charge the car. It depends on whether you are just using it for city driving or if you are going on a long trip then you set it to uh, recommend it to the 90 percent. Uh, you can set it all the way to 100 but it's not really recommended by Tesla. If you set it to 100 you are forcing the battery to work really hard to keep up all the charge and it's not good for a battery to be charged completely and then discharge all the way down and then back again. So it's better to keep it between 90% and around 30% during the whole day or when you are driving. It's better to just keep it within that range. Also you have the options when you are charging the car to how many amps you want to draw from the outlet and also you can schedule charging let's say you connect the car but you don't really need it to charge right away you can set here if you want it to start charging at 1 a.m 2 p.m whatever you want and also you can set weekdays and these options are available when you are connected to the wall right now because i'm not connected it doesn't let me change anything but just time but you can uh, set when you want it to start charging or when you want to be done charging and this option right here is to recondition the cabin let's say it's really hot outside and you want the car to be already cold when you get in or the opposite you want it to be really warm in the winter then you can uh, precondition the cabin uh, right here so when when your cheaper is charging you're gonna see more options right here also right now i'm not connected to anything the home link icon to open your garage door and if you go into the settings you can add multiple garage doors and you can also customize them like if your garage is pretty tight you can auto fold the mirrors when you are going through your garage i have it set to auto open when i arrive in home and i'm within 100 feet of my garage door it will open automatically and it's pretty close it's pretty cool if you want it to auto close when you're leaving the garage reset the location and reprogram the profile or delete the profile the profiles in case different people use the car you can set different profiles so the car can adjust the steering wheel the driver's seat the mirrors and also if you notice my previous video i would tap on every single option uh, in the main menu and it would start saving like uh, let's say i like to drive with the fog lights on then i would click it right here and then it would save it to my profile so if i set my profile like this then it would turn on the fog lights every time i drive the car you can also set a easy entry just in case you want to set up a profile to get out of the car the car will move the seat back and the steering wheel forward so you can easily get out of the car driver profile here is when you can create the profiles you can type in the name whatever you want and hit create the t right here is for tesla sister x this one is to draw anything you want on the screen. You can save it, you can publish it so other Tesla owners can see them. And with this one you can play pranks on your passengers. You can play fart noises on, on different seats. You can set it to sound on demand for every time you push the scroll button right here. You can also set it so it could make a sound every time you use the turn signal. So you have different options for different sounds. This is a Christmas theme one. Let's say ho ho. No, I don't want a copyright strike. It will change the car to a Santa Claus sleigh. And when you're driving, It will look like it's snowing and other cars on the road will look like reindeers. And also when you use the turn signal, you will hear that. If you tap the planet Mars right here, it will change your whole map to the surface of Mars. Pretty inconvenient if you ask me, <laughs> but pretty cool to see. Like you can zoom in, zoom out on photos from Mars. This is 
the car right here. It will move around the map as you drive. It would also change the logo right here to uh, spaceship. This one is only for cars with air suspension. It will change the car picture on the air suspension menu and the height is now measured by leaks. And this fire right here is in case you want to set a romantic mood. It will turn on the heater. It will turn on the seat heaters. It will display this beautiful fireplace right here. It would also put romantic music. Pretty cool except that there is no way to use it without turning on the heater so it is pretty annoying when it's hot inside the car. This arcade icon right here will open out another screen with a lot of games that you can play in, in the car. There is actually more games available for newer Teslas. I will put it in the screen and there is also another option right here for, for people with newer cars in which there is option to watch YouTube videos, Netflix, Hulu and so on while you are parked. Here you have the option to change your car name again. It's like my previous video and also the owner menu. Here there is a lot of stuff that I'm not gonna cover, it's too much. And also the release notes. Here it would show you what is new in the latest update you got, but it's actually not working for me right now. I don't know why. I already talked to Tesla about it and they, they said that to fix the problem, you will have to erase every uh, data that I have in my car already and I don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna learn on the internet what is new in my update. You also have the option here to call Tesla Rosai Assistant. Moving on, these two icons right here are for the Tesla Cam and the Sentry Mode that I'm gonna talk about in another video. But today we actually have this icon that is for the software update. I'm downloading a software update right now. You have to be connected to Wi-Fi to be able to download it. And the LTE logo right here is to connect the cars to the Wi-Fi network. Right now I'm too far from my Wi-Fi signal, so I'm not connected right now. And this one is for the Bluetooth. Once you have a phone connected, you have the option to dial a number or use your contact or your recent calls. And you have the options to choose if you want to synchronize your contacts and recent calls to your Tesla. The media would just show whatever is playing on your phone. Forget the device and disconnect from the device. And that's pretty much it for the top session of the car. If you want to see what is done here, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to show you what every single one of these buttons do. See you in the next one and thank you for watching.